Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Sustainable Hunting Company. I'm out ice fishing today. It is March 8th, so we are running out of time on the ice, but you know what? We might as well enjoy what we can. Um, the entrance was alright. Once again, it was in how it was slushy that one time where the trucks have been driving. I can't tell if that's where the bottom is because I felt and it felt rough, so it just might be getting through the ice there, but we'll find out. I don't know if I'll be coming out again. Might come back out tomorrow, but it's not looking great unless we get a little cool off. It might be alright, but luckily we got a lot of ice out here still, so can continue on but I'll be jigging today for panfish pike are all closed up so I can't fish for them anymore didn't actually catch one this year I uh, didn't do a whole lot of tip-ups at least I only caught a wallet and a bass on tip-ups this year so kind of lame on that but that's all right so we're gonna get to jigging try to get some crappie and stuff I'm not keeping any today we are catching release and just having a little bit of fun and just catching fish so here we go uh, we are on the board um, very finicky bite they had to really jig and get them to come I was at a different hole, but we're gonna put him back. And we're gonna continue fishing here. I'm gonna bring us over here. Got him. I don't think this is a big fish at all. Maybe. Oh, it's feeling bigger as I reel it. Nah, just a little smaller bluegill. So yeah, smaller bluegill. So I just got a bunch of gills. Oh, I barely hooked this guy. Throw him back down to the depths below. Oh, that was the longest time without fishing in many other holes. This doesn't feel very big. Yeah. Bluegill! Yeah, I went a long time without catching a fish. I was marking a bunch and getting nibbles other places, but finally got one. I was getting cold. I even called a couple people. I'm like, there's fish, they're kind of biting. I might go check out some of the mother holes again. It's kind of over that way. It's already 4 o'clock. I'm going to have to wrap her up in a little bit. Oh, crispy. It's good to know that they're down here. I'm still marking them, so. Honestly, for how finicky they were being at first, did not think they were crappie. Caught me by surprise, not gonna lie. Put a perspective. Ooh, this is, this might be good. Or it's just a fighter. Oh, no. all right of a bluegill. I can get him out. I always wrap up around the Lexlar. It's kind of annoying. There you go. Okay, bluegill here. This is a fat dude. This is the biggest bluegill I've caught today, that's for sure. Hey, look at that. Hey, look at him that way. Like that's that's a thick that's a thick bluegill. We're gonna put him back. Alright, well they I'm gonna grab some bait, catch some more. I got the chair because like I say sitting sucks. We're gonna try this other jig again. See if it's the difference or not. All right, lads, I'm trying to catch one more fish. I caught a couple more. I wasn't filming. I was just hole hopping and got tired of carrying the camera around. Going for one more fish because I got to go. I got other things to go do. Cross my fingers. We can end it right here. I'm marking some. Maybe we'll get a couple fish. See what they do. Oh, <laughs> we got it. Jeez. This might be the going to end it here as long as it stays on. Oh! White bass! Not what I was expecting. <laughs> but fun. We ended it on a white bass. Too bad I wasn't keeping them because I'd keep this too. I'd have a good day of fishing. Fun. Guess that's all she wrote. 
ending this video on a white bass. So once again, thanks for watching today. I'm probably going to get back out here with Derek. Hopefully we catch some more fish. I might keep them tomorrow. Oh, there's fish back down there, but you know what? I got to get going. Screw it. No, what? Do I got bait on here? Nope. All right. So I'm out of here. So thanks for watching again. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below, and I will see you next time.